Hi, today I'm doing a Halloween project for the kids. So I have some orange and yellow on my palette to start. Acrylic paint and I've just got this craft brush that I'm going to use to start off. So I've wet it and dried it with my, my painting cloth and I'm going to start off with orange on my brush. I'm going to start off with the orange alone. Make like this bottom. I'm going to make a swoop down like that just to give myself a guide. This is kind of how I want my orange to start off. Okay, so now I'm not going to go into my orange anymore. I'm just going to use yellow with the orange still on my brush. I'm just going to start moving upward from that. Blend it right over top of the orange there. Go back into the yellow, no more orange. And as we move along, it'll get more to the yellow and less orange. Oops, this is really moving. And I'm going to blend it like that. So it blends instead of just going from orange to yellow. You can go into your orange now a little bit. Now it'll still be orange as we move up and that's okay. As we get to the other edge, the other corner, it'll be more So you see the orange streaks coming up. That's good. I'm just going into my yellow. I'm going to continue moving up, making sure I go right to my edges. Because when I'm finished my painting, I want all the canvas covered. Just into my yellow. Don't worry if there's orange in it. Just going to take this along the top to get my excess paint off when we're finished. Okay, so just going along the top there. Now I'm just going to blend all the way down. Blend it together. Any areas that needs a little tension? And that's the beginning of my well, make sure now all the corners are covered as well. There we go. Okay, my camera missed when I put the moon on, so I just got a piece of paper and I'm going to repeat how I put the moon on. So I've got lots of white on my palette. And I'm going to take this sponge, it's a cra round craft sponge I got at the craft store. And I'm going to rub it onto the white and turn it. I got red on my hands from my last painting there. Oops. And now I'm going to take a little bit of yellow. I got some left here and I'm going to add it in and then oops, set it where I want my moon and then turn it and there you go and that's how we did it and then if you want to take the edge and just dab it it'll take some of those bumps off blend a little bit. Okay, back to the other video. Okay, so our next step is our spider web. So I'm going to use a pencil and draw it on first. You can just go ahead with your brush if you want to. So I'm going to make a little circle right there for the middle of my spider web. And you could just go ahead and start drawing, but just so that you'll know about how far. We want our spider to come down right about here. 
So we want our web to kind of be up here. So I've laid my ruler down. And I'm going to come down with my line about eight inches. And that'll give my spider something to hang from. Then, now, I'm going to just do it freehand, but you can use your ruler all the way. I'm going to bring one to there, right over my man. And I'm going to bring one to about there. And then I'm going to take one down here. right off your uh, canvas. Now from there, I'm going to connect these with a little smiley shape between. Little part, semicircles to start off. Then I go down a little ways farther, do another one. A little farther. Oops, it's okay. As I get farther down, make the spaces between them bigger as well. And this one, we'll go real big part circle. Some, this one will be a really big circle. Okay, so that's the end of our web. And we'll maybe have our spider Depending where you want him, I'm going to bring him right down here. And he's going to go here. Now at this time you could draw your spider if you wish. You want a big circle. And a smaller one. And then we'll put some legs off. The spider's legs are in three parts. So this one will come out from there on both sides. Bring another one down. Might even put something in his hands when we're done. And then his little hooks. This one. A little foot. Eight legs. Maybe he can be holding on to that web there with that one. Or something cute. And then they have a little little set of pinchers there. Okay, so now we're ready to paint. Okay, so now I have some black paint on my palette. And there's a few different ways of applying the paint. I'm going to show you each one. First we could use a liner brush, add a little water. When you're using a liner brush it's easier if you add a little water. You get lots of paint on it by rolling it through your paint. And you could just start by tracing your lines. This will take some time. Always start at the top of your painting and work down so that your hand doesn't get in your wet paint. And I'm just going to work away at this. And don't worry if you're shaky, makes it nice. And just follow your lines. Every time you need more paint, go get it. Okay. 
Okay, now I've come down this far. I'm going to do these ones so that I don't drag my hand in it. And I don't have to go back up there. I'm just going to bring these lines towards my When you need to, add a little more water in your paint so it moves easier. And if your lines aren't coming out solid, depending on the kind of paint you're using, you can always come back and, and retrace it before you go on. You always have to make sure it's dry so you don't drag your hand through it. If you're interested in a, another few ways of doing it, I have a flat brush. This is a, it takes a little scale, but it's a great way to do straight lines. I'm just gonna, lots of paint, keep my brush nice and flat and sharp. Hold my brush straight out from my canvas and follow my lines. And then you can also do it by curving it, but you have to hold your brush straight up and don't push too hard. If you push too hard, you're going to get your lines thicker than you want them. Okay. You have to be a little bit more careful where you stop. I would do the smaller ones with the smaller brush, though. So. I'm going to use this to, oops, I got my camera. I'm going to use this one to draw my line down to my spider. It's okay if you go right into your spider because we're going to cover that. With. So I'm just going to use this for my big one. Push a little too hard on that one. in because it's connected to something else somewhere. And I have to go right from one web to the other or it won't look right. Okay, so I set my flat brush and water. I'm going to go back to my liner brush. That's probably how most people choose to do it. One other way, just if you have trouble with brushes, there's these sponges. And I'll just show you how to use that for straight lines. You use it just like you would a brush. Put lots of paint on the point. Keep it sharp. And where do I need to line now? I've painted them all right here. And you can just very lightly touch it and use it. it makes a little thicker line. My favorite way probably would be the, the flat and the liner brush together. Okay. Okay, so now I'm going to move down to my spider. Um, you can just even get something to draw your circle to make it round or um, freehand it or use one of these little sponges you get from the craft store. And you just twirl it into your paint and then twirl it on another spot so that there's not too much on there. Put it down where you want your spider. Twirl it. Lift it. Oops, I have to do a little more. The, the thing is you have to twirl it just as you just seen to get it all the way around. And then, if that's the way you want to do it, and we're going to do a little bit more on the spider, so this is just to get the background. Okay, so now I have this smaller one. 
I'm going to go into the black paint, get lots on it, twirl it, and put it where I want the spider's head. Twirl it and lift it. That's a really quick little way to get the circles. And if it doesn't go on first, then go back. Okay, so I've touched up the little mess I made, and I just want to put the feet back on. I didn't like the way they were. So we got a V down. The paint's still a bit wet, but we'll put it there. And then this way. So a bit of a V, and then out from there. And then I'm going to bring one down here. There. That's a bit better. So I'm going to use my little liner brush, put some black back on it. A little bit of water. Not too much because you don't want it to run. Twist it through. Get a nice little point. I'm just going to make these little C going that way. A little backwards C. Those are his little pinchers. Okay. So I have a little red in my palette and I'm going to use the back of my liner brush and dab it in. See, so I want to make a little red dot with it. But I want to make that little dot for my eyes of my spider. So I'm going to put one here. Oops, not big enough. You could, if it's not big enough, use a, something with a bigger dot surf. Okay. All right. So with some of the back of my flat brush, I'm going to do the same thing, but I'll get a bigger dot. That's more what I want. Okay. So I'm going to come down here, and I'm going to put a dot there for that eye. And a dot there for that eye. So also with my little liner brush, I'll get my water and run that through. I'm also going to do his little feet on the end of, of his little legs. Just the feet part. Now for the rest of his legs, I want, you can do the legs with the liner brush, but I'm going to use a Q-tip and I'm going to get a nice little bit of paint there, dab my Q-tip in and just dab along the legs. When I need more paint, come back, get some more. And then dab down to the foot. And the lighter you dab, the smaller your little spot. So you can control how thick you want each part of the leg. And go a little lighter down to the foot. And that gives the hairy leg effect. Okay, so now to give my spider a little texture, I'm going to put some brown on my palette. And I'm just going to dab a little brown dots on his back. And a little bit on his head. 
eyes. Just gives a little texture. Now I'm going to add a little bit of yellow to that brown and dab over top of some of them just to give them a highlight. And that'll dry a little darker and give it a little look like he's got some bumps on his back. Don't want to overdo it. You have a yellow spider. It just gives them a little, a little highlight. Okay, so I'm just erasing a few lines I didn't want there with my pencil. Oh, thanks for watching. Hope you give this one a try.